welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about how to be confident in any situation. And one thing to realize is when I say how to be confident, it's not meaning that you are insecure. It just may mean that you are shy or you are an introvert. So I'm gonna give you guys a few tips on how to be confident in any situation. And the one main thing is just to be honest and don't be afraid of polarity. We are living in such a people-pleasing generation that a lot of people just want to have the herd mentality and go along with everyone and don't rock the boat. But a big way to be confident is to be honest. Don't be afraid of polarity. You don't always have to agree with the people or the person that you are talking to. You can be friends with someone and have your own opinion. Don't be afraid to steer the conversation in different directions. It doesn't mean it's gonna turn into an argument. The only thing that happens when you are honest is the polarity weeds out the people that aren't your people. One less person not liking you is no big deal. The only thing that happens is what? When you go somewhere, if someone's there that doesn't like you, what do they do? They just avoid you, who cares? It doesn't matter if everybody likes you and that is the problem with this generation. We're so mentally wired to get as many likes as possible that no one speaks their truth anymore. An example of not being afraid of polarity and not being afraid to polarize yourself in a group setting or a social situation. I am in a text thread with a bunch of people. Some I know, some I don't know. Some people know my sense of humor, some do not. We have an event coming up in December and we're trying to get together a social calendar. So somebody sent into the thread an invite. Get tickets to this, okay? And one by one, everyone's like blinking, blinking, got mine, got mine, can't wait, woohoo, so fun, yada, 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 whatever. I looked at it, I looked at what the event's about. My response was, I'd rather be shot in the face than go to this, <laughs> okay? That is a prime example of speaking your truth and not being afraid of a little polarity. Okay, so some people in the thread might hate me, some might like me, some people said ha ha, some people didn't respond, but the point is I don't care. I don't want to go to that. I don't want to pretend like I want to go to that. You guys do that. And I literally wrote, I said, let me know if you do any dinners or anything you know, before this time. I just don't have any interest in that type of event. But my response was, I'd rather be shot in the face. And I let it sit there for a while because confidence is not about whether people are going to like you. Confidence is about you are okay if they don't. You know what I mean? Speak your truth. It doesn't always have to be so aggressive like that. You know, I have my own sense of humor, which some people know, some people don't. They get to know it pretty quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's just what I mean by speaking your truth. Another thing about speaking your truth is having authentic reactions. I can give you another example. I was out the other night with a group of people from New York. New York is a very highly educated city, let's say. Like they put a lot of value on your education, social status, family name, etc. So I was at a table with a bunch of people. I have none of that, by the way. Okay, so that's why this is a very good example. I was at a table with a bunch of guys, you know, and everyone's kind of getting to know each other, yada, 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 talking about this. They didn't know me, obviously. So when the conversation came to me, I can't level up and I am not gonna lie and I'm not gonna front. Can I? Yeah, can you? Yeah, you can totally lie. No one will ever know the difference. But when you do that, you are basically affirming to yourself that you are not good enough, that you have to lie to be accepted. So we, I think we were talking about education or something and they asked me where I went to school, whatever, you know? And I just, I'm the type of person that would rather own my truth. And so I said to them, I said, you know, it's interesting. I, would, I always wanted to go to college, but I didn't. I started working really young. I was in the music industry and I was touring the world. And so I kind of lived on a plane and lived in other countries and never really went to school. Obviously I circled back and did some online stuff, but I don't have a formal education. And I was just honest and dished it out. And you know, the rest, some of the table didn't really know what to say, you know what I mean? Cause they're used to having the conversation they have, but there was this one guy and he's like, well, you know what? An education doesn't secure you anything nowadays. It's all the entrepreneurs of no education that are kind of ruling the world. So he kind of saved me and then that's who I connected with. So that's what I mean when you're authentic and you just kind of own your truth, you might not connect with everyone, but him and I connected and we were talking and that's kind of how you form authentic relationships. You cannot afraid to just own your truth. And just so you guys know, that is actually called the shadow rule. This is actually something that actually has a name because so many people do it. You don't have to hide parts of yourself to be acceptable to other people. Lying and hiding your imperfections might be useful in the short term, but I tell you guys, this is going to wreck your self esteem and you lose who you truly are in the process of trying to people please and trying to fit in. 
When you do this, you are actually telling your brain that you are not good enough. And every time you fake and you lie and you hide your little imperfections, you're affirming into your brain that you're not good enough and you get more insecure and more insecure. You feel lack, you feel like you're not good enough. And every situation that you step into, you get smaller and smaller and smaller. You go, so this is actually very, very damaging when you try to fit in, hide your imperfections and create little lies so that people approve of you. And you're saying to yourself that you need to be someone else to be acceptable. And this can be a very, very damaging pattern that becomes a loop. It almost becomes a loop that you lose control of. You know what I mean? So you never want to step into that hamster wheel where something comes a repetitive pattern, where it becomes a habit, especially if it's something negative that's affirming that you're not good enough. That's affirming that you need to be someone else to be accepted. And trying to blend in actually makes you more nervous, you guys, because you're not being yourself. So what are you doing? You're scanning the room. You're paying attention to how people are reacting to you. And you're actually thinking to yourself, am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Can anyone tell? Can anyone tell? So it's like, I can't even imagine what that would feel like. It would create so much anxiety inside your body, which makes you more insecure in a situation, which makes you more uncomfortable, which gives you social anxiety. It's just like, it is so unenjoyable versus just walking in, being you, whoever likes you, likes you and enjoying the time that you're having and the social interaction that you're having with people. So to wrap this all up, how to be confident in any situation is just to be honest. Don't be afraid to show your imperfections. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. Don't try to level up. Don't try to lie. Don't try to fit in by your people pleasing. That's like a whole nother topic that I'm going to get into. <laughs> but that is what I wanted to share with you guys for today. I hope this is helpful, especially with the holiday season coming up. You're going to be doing a lot of socializing. You're going to be having a lot of company parties. There's going to be a lot going on. So just step into this new year. Lead with your truth. Lead with your honesty. Lead with your vulnerability. And you will attract the people that are intended to be your soul tribe. And you will start enjoying life a lot more. Okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. That's my rant. See ya. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the circle. And I just did a very, very short meditation that I want you guys to check out right there. It's connecting breath with movement, which makes meditation so much easier. And it's only three minutes. So check that out and I'll see you guys in a few days.